All right, and Matt's back. And Matt, here at home, of course, we're still talking about this heat. Yeah, we are still talking about the heat. And then we actually are going to wait because the remnants of Gordon are eventually going to work their way into the Northeast and the Delaware Valley, giving us the chance for maybe some thunderstorm activity as we head towards the weekend. Talk about that in one second. But our neighborhood network here this morning, Cape May, this is going to be a good place to cool off from all of that high heat that we're once again going to be having here across, especially the I-95 corridor. And it was hot even down the shore yesterday. Record high temperature in Atlantic City of 96 degrees on Tuesday. That broke the old record of 92 set in 2008. The good news for the folks down the shore today going to stay in the 80s. Even if it is steamy, we're not going to see those 90s like we had yesterday. Here is Gordon Storm Scan 3 across the Gulf Coast. Still seeing those bands on the southern edge of the center of circulation. Still pushing through the Florida Panhandle and along the Gulf Shores area of Alabama as well. The main center of circulation now into central Mississippi is going to continue to track to the north. And as it does, it's going to eventually get caught up in a regular kind of mid latitude cyclone with the fronts attached to it and it's going to slowly then track to the east and that's when we could see some of the remnants of Gordon affect us here in the Delaware Valley. So some limited relief is eventually going to come. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid again for us today. Once we get into Thursday, we see a cold front. It's going to really kind of not give us too much in the way of uh, relief from necessarily the humidity and heat tomorrow. It's still going to be very hot with some scattered thunderstorms for us on Thursday, but on the back side of the front, starting on Friday, temperatures drop. We do keep our shower and thunderstorm chances in there for Friday as well as the front stalls out to our south. The good news though, as we get into Friday and the weekend is our humidity will be much lower. 92 degrees for the high today. A thunderstorm chance maybe for the Eagles game tomorrow. We'll have to keep an eye on that. 92 degrees tomorrow in the afternoon as well. And then Chandler, we see some 80s on Friday and then 70s as we head into the weekend.